안녕하세요 여러분 저는 팀입니다 반갑습니다 솔직히 한국말 할수 없어요 <웃음> 제 아내 한국 분이에요 So my wife is Korean She helps me with work 한국에서 5년 동안 살았어요 그때 한국어 배웠어요 지금은 Atlanta 사고 있어요 In this video I'm gonna cover a lot with the Korea town here and I can't wait to show you guys What's up you guys? Tim Trevathan with Tim Trevathan Homes and Keller Williams Realty and I am here in the heart of Koreatown in Duluth, Georgia. Some of you may or may not know but behind me is the Super H Mart here in Duluth on Pleasant Hill Road off of exit 104 on Interstate 85. And some, contrary to popular belief, think that this is all there is to the Koreatown here in Duluth but it's so much more. And I hope this coverage will give you a little bit of uh, perspective as to how grand this place is. Duluth, Georgia is known for being in the top three most populated cities in America for Koreans that live here. So if you thought about moving here but you just aren't sure about what Duluth has to offer, well I hopefully can cover in this video all that encompasses Koreatown so that you can make the right decision and if you have any questions hopefully I can answer them in this video. Now I'm so excited to be able to do this because I am actually half Korean. My mom is Korean. My dad is American. I was born in a multicultural uh, community and background in my family. And also, I've got all my family in Korea who I had a chance to see uh, growing up when I lived in Korea. After college, I went there to teach English. I thought I was going to be there for one year. It ended up being for five years. That's how much I love my life in Korea. I miss it so much. But the cool thing is when I came back, I, th I thought to myself, where could I live where I can get Korean culture still, but surrounded by American culture? Look no further, Duluth, Georgia, here it is. So, I All right guys, so this is Duluth, Koreatown, at least part of it. And I'm just gonna walk you through each part that uh, Duluth has to offer when it comes to Koreatown. You're gonna see that there's a lot of other shopping centers beyond this Super H Mart shopping center. But guys, it's incredible here in terms of the number of businesses, as you can see in eyeglasses and contact lens, um, an insurance uh, place, Hanbok Town. I mean, every kind of business you can think of is here. Um, anything that ranges from law firms to banks, jewelers, even used car lots, car mechanics, dentists, doctors, clothing boutiques, furniture, skin care, wellness shops, PC game rooms, K-pop stores, hair salons, pet groomers, and a lot more than that. So there's a Doremi Noreban, <laughs> so even karaoke, your, your um, a renowned karaoke that Korea is known for back in the motherland. Tree Story Bakery and Cafe, there's our first uh, glimpse of a coffee shop. Um, you'll see that there are many coffee shops here and you've got a combination of the, basically the, the gyopo ones, the Korean American ones like White Windmill, and then you got the other ones that are in Mozart Bakery, and then you got the Korean ones straight from Korea such as Mango Six, Cafe Bene, Paris Baguette for example. Um, here, and I'm, I'm pulling up maps so that you can see where these are located. This is Zion Market. This is built maybe back in 2018. So, um, you know, fairly new compared to uh, H Mart in Duluth. Um, this area here, you can see there's a boutique place, another um, eye uh, optometry place, Toram Go, which has really good Takalbi, um, Ianbap, which is known for a lot more affordable entry-level price for uh, Korean barbecue. So guys, again, there's so much to offer here in Duluth for Koreatown. And you know, this isn't the first one. Um, H Mart in Duluth was one of the original ones um, built in the early 2000s. But there's also ones located in uh, Doraville, as well as Swanee and Johns Creek. Koreans who started in the 90s living in Doraville, moved north towards Duluth, then into Swanee and Johns Creek, and now they're even moving further north into places like Hushton, Brazelton, and Decula. Now, I try to cover as much as I could in this video. Um, you'll see that there are some parts here that show different um, businesses, such as like these. These are Vietnamese-owned. 
but within the same building are Korean owned businesses like Shinhan Bank, which is one of the only Shinhan banks in, in all of the US, uh, just a fun fact. Um, you got CPA uh, services for your taxes. Um, here's a location off of Pleasant Hill that gives you a glimpse of everything from Thai food to Chinese food, um, bubble tea, like ding tea. Um, but the place that I want to highlight as we're talking about Koreatown is the Chungmon Chicken there, right there on the far right. And Bibimyeon, which has got good naengmyeon, dopuki, bunchik type food that you can uh, expect to see if you're walking the streets of Korea. Um, good quality food too. Um, Chungmon Chicken, some say BBQ Chicken is the best um, in Suwannee. Coffee by Hand is another good place. Um, but going back, I personally like Chungmon Chicken the best, but a lot of people say BBQ Chicken is the best. And then you've got Thank You Chicken off of Old North Cross Road. Sweet Hut Bakery is not Korean owned, but it is very uh, famous for a lot of different kinds of breads, bubble tea, coffees, and so forth. Orange Coffee Bar, they've got a great mango, or no, it's not mango beans, it's a, it's a melon bean zoo, where they actually pour shaved ice into the melon where they've scooped up all the melon so they can have room to make it as a bowl. Dong Subek right there has got a lot of good food. Um, they've got like Dok uh, Talbi Jim. Um, there's a thank you chicken I was talking about. And Honey Pig, which is one of the original um, Korean barbecue places in Duluth. Uh, followed by so many more, which we're going to take a look at. There's one right there, Iron Age. Personally, it's one of my favorites um, with the Iron Age steak. Hence on Gretel, they have several locations. That's the newest location and it has blown up big time. It used to be a Mango Six. Um, there's a Cafe Mozart that's right across the street. Um, here's another area um, further down Pleasant Hill. Soda Bowl, where actually my wife and I and both of our families went for Icha round two after our wedding. So we had dinner there together. Promise One Bank, you can see another Korean bank like Shinhan Bank. That En Vogue is actually a really awesome hair salon. And that Cheonggiwa place is incredible for um, Gamja Tang. Um, so don't forget to check that place out. This is Nukul Plaza, um, another big concentrated area of Korean shops. Ahang has got incredibly good Wang Dongkas. You've got the billiards place with uh, Danggu, the Korean style uh, billiards, as well as normal pool that we're accustomed to in the States. You've got other places here as the other H Mart location with dentistry, um, insurance, things like that. Pharmacy, you got Yakuk right there for pharmacy. A um, couple other places that are non Korean, like that Chinese restaurant. You got acupuncture, that's another one that I, I forgot to mention earlier. Another karaoke place in Atlanta, Radio Korea. I actually had a friend that worked there. Um, not huge um, and not widely popular, but it is a local radio station, all spoken in Korean. So um, now we're coming up on another location here, a mixture of different Asian businesses, but there are a couple there to point out as a barber shop. Um, and then there's also the coffee shop there on the far right. It used to be an older one. Uh, I mean, a different one from a different owner, and it was always hot in there. I don't know why I was sweating drinking my coffee. Even if it was an ice Americano, I was always sweating. <laughs> Six, seven, eight barbecue. Okay, so here's another good Korean barbecue place. Um, a standalone building, apart from a lot of the other barbecue places that you might find. Um, here, I want to show you something. Boom, right there. Jang Su Jang. Probably top three when it comes to Korean restaurants. Diamonds. That place has got. Diamonds, of course, and engagement rings where I bought mine when I proposed to my now wife. Um, this location, which is further down Satellite Boulevard, has got a mixture of a lot of Asian restaurants like I Love Pho, um, Vietnamese places, Shri Thai for Thai food. But the thing I want to point out is here, Paragon Golf Club. They got the net for screen golf. That is Korean owned and it is a fantastic place, rain or shine, to go to. Got a little cool Eiffel Tower French uh, vibe to it when you first come in. They got a virtual reality experience there. You could play, bring your friends along and, and have fun playing games. Um, there is, you'll see in a second, a bowling alley here, which honestly wasn't my favorite because the lanes were always dry. They were never oily and the ball would hook even when you didn't try to. Eight years in bowling leagues, I would know uh, the difference. And there it is, I love bowling. Not so good, but 
Just recently, a new owner took over and has revamped the whole place. Not only in just renovating it with tons and tons of billiard halls, um, pool tables rather, and a DJ, but also totally renovated lanes. So it is now, from what I heard, a great place to go bowling with your friends. There's a street tile talking about, coffee shop there on the end. Again, this is not really Korean owned, but um, there were a couple that I wanted to touch up on, like the golf. K Barbecue Factory, great place for Korean barbecue. I personally like their chadubagi, their beef beef brisket. This one is a Chinese supermarket, um, but it's worth checking out. They've got a good food court with good uh, ilbon ramen, Japanese ramen, unbelievable. Probably some of the best bubble tea, arguably, in Duluth. This is a Vietnamese restaurant. Got good banh mi, uh, Vietnamese sandwiches. Uh, here is 9292 Korean Barbecue. Gooey Gooey uh, is how you pronounce 9292 in the Shino Korean uh, uh, letters or whatever, when it comes, or numbers rather. And um, that's actually their second location. They've expanded a lot. And it's probably one of my favorites. I'm telling you, it's, it's one of my favorites because they've got the best quality meat and really good size. Breakers has got some really good LA Kalbi. So you have to check out Breakers. I mean, you know, years ago, we didn't have much Korean barbecue at all, and it just blew up in the last six or seven years where there are just so many to pick from. Jeju Sauna, if you want a Jim Jilbang, where you can go sleep overnight, or not even sleep overnight, if you just want to stay there for a couple hours, they've got different rooms with the elements in which they make the rooms for healing effects. Todak Todak, great place for Takabi. One of the only ones, and probably the best that I've had, and I'm talking about the pan, the, the, the metal pan that's round, they cook it for you, right in front of you, yes, it's good. Um, it was hard to find when I first moved here, but when I found out about that place, Todak Todak, I was super thrilled. I filmed this on the day when it was not the weekend, so you can see it's not that busy. Um, it's a Korean-owned uh, Chinese restaurant, Chef Wang, that you can check out. This whole area, and this is, there's also a Noribang um, earlier that I was filming. Um, if you want to go with friends, this is also a great spot for that. In fact, you can go to Todak Todak for dinner and then catch some Noribang right after that. Hanshin Pocha. Every time I go here, it seems like there's these pretty women uh, with lots of makeup <laughs> that come walking in. It's a combination of, uh, you know, like a mechchu bar, like you got, you know, different kinds of traditional um, alcohol, Korean alcohol, as well as, uh, you know, Dorebang as well, back rooms. That just then was a uh, dop place. So if you have um, dok that you want to buy for Chuseok or Solau, the Korean holidays during the year, Lunar New Year or uh, Korean Thanksgiving, that's a good place to buy your dok. Paris Baguette, there is the one I was talking about. And this is the their biggest location. There's another one in Dorville. Paris Baguette right here is the newest one and it's huge. Here is 1992, their original location off of Satellite Boulevard. And I'm telling you, it's some of the best barbecue. This is my go-to spot. That and Iron Age, which some people, some reason they don't like Iron Age, but I personally love it um, for the price. It's a little bit cheaper, um, but gooey gooey is, is off the chain. And I love the play on words because gooey gooey means um, grilling in Korean. So I, I thought that was a pretty cool play on words there. Um, yeah, 1992, the owner also owns a Shabu Shabu, which opened just maybe two and a half, three years ago. Really good. At one point, they're offering $9.99 for lunch, unlimited. I think they still do. Um, here off of Berkeley Lake <coughs> uh, Road, there is another Korean shopping center here. So you got even a PC bong there. Now you can see it gets really Korean here because this is all Korean symbols for some of their logos. A little golf outlet for clothes and clubs. Um, they've got that that one Chinese restaurant right there is actually really good. And if you ever heard of Gangnam Style back in 2012 with the popular K-pop star Psy, took the world by storm. Of course, you have to wonder, is there a store or a place of some kind of Korean business that has Gangnam in the name? And it there is. Gangnam Style Karaoke is right here. Uh, that's an acupuncture place. <laughs> but later in a second, you'll see it. Um, and one of the biggest ones I want to point out, as far as businesses, is Spa Land, 
Like Jeju Sauna, it is a jimjabang, a sauna where you can sleep overnight or you can go to the different temp temperatures of water. This is it right here, Spa Land. And this one's fairly new. It's only been around for about three years. I remember uh, during COVID when things opened back up, uh, they're offering these huge discounts if you bought 10 or more. Me and my wife, we bought it and uh, we were going there like uh, every other week it seemed like. There's the Gangnam style karaoke. So if you want to feel like you're uh, walking down the streets of Gangnam, singing your hearts out, go check that place out. <laughs> Here's um, another look of Spa Land from uh, a wider uh, perspective. So you can see the entire building is quite big. And then tell you, they got everything. Places to sleep, um, place, uh, you got uh, like a place to eat. They've got a little cafeteria. You can watch movies. Um, it's, just, it's, it's huge. It's massive. So this again is further down Pleasant Hill Road when you're going towards the direction of uh, Peachtree Industrial. There's Gopchang, cow intestine. Yes, if you want to take your chance at some wild um, foods that most people don't like or want to try, there it is. Um, here is, okay, so now we're coming up on another location. <clears throat> Same street, close to where the spa land is and everything. And believe it or not, yes, there is Korean furniture. If you want to look for imported furniture directly from Korea, albeit expensive, but of course because it's imported, but if you want to get some without having to fly to Korea, this is the place to go. It's a multi-level, two-story right here, Home Plus, Gagunada. <laughs> it's a furniture country, and that's the place to go. There is a Global Mission Center and Chosun Ilbo. So Korean newspaper, uh, a church, or like a seminary, Shinhakyo, and speaking of churches, which I didn't film in this video, there's so many churches, Korean churches, particularly on Duluth Highway 120. The biggest Korean church, KCPC, uh, Korean Community Presbyterian Church located there, is the biggest in all of Georgia. Um, there's also uh, Korean Church of Atlanta, and there's also Catholic Church at the end of Duluth Highway 120. There's a white windmill there. Um, not the original, but one of them. Haru Chicken, also good. Rotham Coffee, Rotham Cafe, great guy. Pastor is the owner. And he has a humongous book collection, CD collection, which you can look at a whole array of different um, media that you can look at. And they have sometimes open mics and performances on the weekends. Now, to finish this video off, cannot forget to talk about this. Jung Dayun Associates, right there you saw at the very top of that building. She is a lawyer that helped me basically get $13,000 to settle my case where I got rear-ended last spring, uh, March 2021, and she did a phenomenal job, and that's after the attorney fee. Very nice, very helpful, very clear in explaining things. Um, so there you have it. There's a lot more I could talk about and I want to talk about, but I don't want to make this video longer than it already is. So guys, if you have questions, post them in the comment section down below, or you can message or call me directly. I live in the area. I'm half Korean and I know Korean somewhat, as I mentioned in the introduction. So um, I have a passion of living here. And especially because my wife is Korean, my mom is Korean. I lived in Korea for five years. I taught English there. So I'd be happy to help you in terms of familiarizing yourself about the area. And even if you wanted to chat about Korea life and the culture, um, I love um, having conversations involving that. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more content. If you wanna know more about Duluth, check out my pros and cons video of living in Duluth and things to do in Duluth, Georgia. And I'll see you on the next video. You guys take care.